Hello, David Zeritsky for the Bond Experience. Welcome back. You know, our James Bond reading picks was pretty popular, and I think a part of it is, is that these videos are great, and Instagram's wonderful, video games are fun. TV, who doesn't like TV? But the reality is, is the word of print is not dead. It's still very much alive, and I think a part of it is part nostalgia and part that it really just activates a different part of the brain. So, we are back to do part two of our James Bond reading picks, and we've got a big variety coming up on this particular one, because all of you had a really strong opinion. Some of these are from uh, follower picks, and some of these are from my own. So let's get right going. First of all, we've got Shaken, Drinking with James Bond and Ian Fleming. Now this is an official book. It is from the Ian Fleming. It is from Harper Design. It's an official book, so it's not semi-official, but this is how it basically starts off. From the very first James Bond novel, Casino Royale, which Bond christens the Vesper Martini with your mortal line, Shaken Not Stirred, which first appeared in print. In Diamonds Are Forever, strong, carefully crafted cocktails are at the glamorous heart of every Bond story. So this is a story of them. Now, the reality is, is this takes about uh, 10 of the most famous James Bond drinks and really splits them apart. The pictures inside are beautiful. I mean, they're like cosmopolitan beautiful. They're shot perfectly, well lit, they describe it, but they actually put 40 other cocktails in here that could be inspired by Bond. 10 plus 40 equals 50. 50th anniversary? Ah, I'm getting it. It's also this really nice gold embossed hardcover book. So it, from a value proposition standpoint, it's really great. It reads really well. I found myself, um, quite frankly, gravitating to this, almost like a prop. I wanted to have this, think about this, you know, sitting in your bar, you know, just sitting there, your bar opens up, you're there to fix a drink for people, and they're like, oh, that's right, you're the Bond guy, David. Shake it, drinking with James Bond and Ian Fleming. But it became more than that. It was a really good, well-written story that talks and speaks to the extracts from Ian Fleming's writing and then connects it to a lot of the things that we know and love and imbibe from time to time. So, yeah, I know it's the second drinking book in the lineup, but it's a good one at that. So this next one, we're going in a totally different direction. And this one is uh, intriguing. I'm not going to say strange. I'm going to say intriguing. And I didn't even know this existed. This is Fan Phenomena, James Bond. So Fan Phenomena, James Bond explores the devoted fan base that has helped make Bond what he is. Oh, Oh, offering a serious but wholly accessible take on the many different ways that fans have approached, appreciated, and appropriated Bond blah, 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 uh, over the 60 years of his existence from the pages of Ian Fleming's novels to the screen. Let me tell you what this is. And by the way, I found this when I was at Spyscape. Uh, didn't even know it existed. Saw it there, was like, whoa, fan phenomena. Opened it up, and inside was a picture of Remert. Remert from James Bond Lifestyle, and, and, and then I read a little bit on, and then there was an excerpt from one of my articles from like 2007 that talked about James Bond branding. So this covers the gamut of the Bond community, people that do uh, fan fiction, people that look at locations, people that look at the brands of Bond and connect with it. I didn't even know it existed, but it's edited by Claire Hines, who's put all these pieces together. I think that uh, scoured the internet and put it all together in a book. It's soft cover. This one travels well. Um, this one, maybe not so much. I think hard covers don't really lend themselves to throwing into a backpack or a briefcase, but this is very cool. And if you appreciate the Bond community and, and the connection points, you may enjoy this. It's, again, it's an, it's kind of a strange one. It, you'll see when you see the uh, uh, the itinerary, the itinerary, you know what I mean, the introduction and, and how it's all put together. I really enjoyed it, but it's not for everybody. If you want to see a connection to the to the Bond fandom, that's the one for you. All right. Now we're going to get a little more serious, um, but fun at the same time. MI6 Confidential. Now, I think you're probably aware of MI6 Confidential. This one happens to be Remembering Roger Moore. This is a special publication of theirs that happened obviously around the passing of Roger Moore. MI6 Publication is a fan magazine by fans, for fans, 
But don't let that fool you. This is not amateur in any respect. This is good journalism. Uh, friends like A.J. Chowdhury write for this magazine and articles. It is absolutely beautiful on the inside. You have these full color photos. You have it, and this this particular case goes over with Roger Moore's the different characters that he runs into, uh, speaks to them, the actors, etc. Really, really good journalism, but the visuals are beautiful as well. MI6 Publications, uh, it is something that they have multiple times a year, so it's not just a hit. It's not just a special publication. It's a regular magazine that really keeps the momentum of Bond going, even in those quieter times. So we really like it. We have a lot of these. Uh, this happens to be one that was gifted to me by AJ uh, when I was over in London. It's fantastic. It's This is a very moving one, but they really run the gamut, and those guys over there and gals really put together an incredible storytelling momentum packaged really well. Now we're going to go crazy again. And this is, I'll say, to the left of Bond, but I had to talk about this. And in a risky way, I read this on the plane heading over to Norway. So here we go. Yeah, let's see if I can get a little closer. A guide to improvised weaponry. How to protect yourself with whatever you've got. <laughs> you can find this on Amazon all day. And by the way, we're going to have links to all these things down below. This is really crazy. But I love this thing. All right, here we go. Uh, sidewalk thief tries to steal your wallet, but you're unarmed. What do you do? With a guide to improvise weaponry, you'll know how to protect yourself, even if all you have are your car keys and a candy bar. Yes, this is part Jason Bourne and part James Bond. This is basically what do you do in almost any situation if you're accosted, approached, attacked, threatened? How do you use a, a hanger? How do you use, they're not kidding, a candy bar. How do you use anything in and around you so very quickly, like Jason Bourne or Bond, you assess your surroundings, know what you have. Is it a pot of coffee? Is it a mug? Is it a rolled up newspaper? It goes into how to do this. And the cool thing is, is the people that wrote this, they're Green Berets, Master Sergeants. They're in the military and they were trained specifically to be in hostile situations, not have any guns or knives on them, but then find things around them to utilize. This is very mobile. I Again, I traveled all through uh, Norway and London with this. I read it from cover to cover. Probably people on the plane were looking at me like, what? Either they felt very scared or very safe, and I don't know which. But this is phenomenal. It's it's $15.99. I mean, it's so reasonable, and I'm telling you, you won't put it down. Some of the things you're going to be like, well, duh. Um, but some of the things you're going to be like, okay, uh, I hope I never have to try that. But if I need to, I know how to use a gum wrapper, and I'm dangerous with it. So this next one I really like because it's where fan meets Bond community meets influencer. And Morton Steingrimson, you know him, you've seen him in a lot of my uh, visuals and videos as of late. Uh, amazing tour through Norway. I call him the son of Norway because he's a great representation. But you know that he's an author. He wrote this book. And I'm going to butcher this uh, while I try to read it in Norwegian. Den stor boken on James 007 Bond, but it basically translates to the big, uh, the big book on James Bond for James Bond fans. This is not a travel book. You can see it's big, it's thick, it's heavy, but it's a beautiful, and I mean beautiful, cocktail book. This is the type of book that, uh, let me flip to a couple pages. Look at this. This was random. It is so beautiful and immaculate. The, the visuals in here, the photographs, everything is so well laid out. What I do love about this is, and you could use Google Translate if you don't understand Norwegian, the interviews in here are so detail-oriented. They, they go into parts of the James Bond film and making of that you've never heard before. It also talks about the movies, but in a different way than you've seen approach before. It's a real, it's passionate, it's enthusiastic, and you can see Morton's uh, passion and enthusiasm come off of his brain and onto the page into this amazing book. And by the way, I have to tell you, he talks about brands in here, so there's a moment in here that I personally love. So much, in fact, that he talks about, for example, N. Peel, and guess who had this book positioned and really well displayed 
in their shop in Burlington Arcade when we were in London. Yeah, and Peel. So, I mean, if it's good enough for an official Bond brand, it's probably good enough for you, but this is fantastic. You should get it, check it out. All right, a bit of an update. Why not? Because we're gonna stay on the whole idea of fan meets Bond community meets influencer. We're gonna talk about AJ Chowdhury and Matthew Field. You know, we saw this last time. They wrote this book. Remember, I was lifting it up. This is, uh, well, it's not even paperback, it's soft, it's not a hardcover, but I want to bring this in close. You see that sticker there? Updated to include the Road to Bond 25. Okay, they actually put in a whole section in here about what happened post Spectre, leading up to everything from who's the distributor and what are they going to do about the actor and what about Danny Boyle and the personalities and the connection points and this is so cool because, number one, if you do not have this, this is the one to look for. This is such an amazing read. It's, it's one of the first true biographies of the making of the James Bond film. So you'll get a little bit of an excerpt here and there, a synopsis, but it gets into, I mean, the minutia of if you ever loved those uh, 1990s, 1980s making of books, this brings it back in such a way, but it ties in their amazing ability to tie journalism and really interesting writing and storytelling together. Weaves an amazing yarn, but this is the updated version. If you have it and you're a completist like me, get the new one. All right, I'm going to try to lift this up. If you hear something snap, oh, all right, I am holding a stack and there's a reason I'm holding a stack. This is 007 magazine. I'm going to hold up one. Oh, I just happen to Choose Daniel Craig. Uh, Bond 23, The Property of a Lady. So, 007 Magazine, uh, Graham Rye, uh, founder, editor, started this magazine. And let me tell you something. I know how long he started this ago. 1979. They're celebrating their 40th anniversary. And why I wanted to highlight this as reading is, first of all, this is travel. And when we talk about summer reading or putting it into a, a briefcase, these types of things can travel extremely well. There's a little bit of nostalgia to this, especially for me. When I was getting into Bond as a young man in his uh, late 20s, early 30s, this was the magazine that was introduced to me of, if you want to get to know James Bond better than you ever have before, this is it. And what I love about the writing in here is it has an opinion. It's not just uh, objective journalism. It is opinions, point of views. The photo archive that they use for these magazines is really unbelievable. There's going to be visuals and high-res things in here that you've never seen before, and it's an online and offline magazine. Beautifully done, high gloss, and the reason I have this stack here is because they've got a lot of different versions. For example, they have a 50th anniversary Thunderball, really nice, a lot of information. Look at this thing. This is 007 Omnibus, Deluxe Limited Edition publication. And I mean, if you think you're going to get through this magazine in one sitting of the toilet, uh, no. No, 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 no. In fact, I got this pile uh, pretty recently. I've had tons of the magazines, but um, there's back issues available. And I started to go over this. But you don't want to go through this quickly. You want to read these slowly. You want to take advantage of just relaxing with these because you want to make them last. And by the way, it doesn't matter. Do you like Craig? Do you like Brosnan? They have something for everybody. So again, you'll see the links below there. You can get those as a regular subscription, but you can also get this as um, one-offs and some of the ones that maybe you just need to catch up with from time to time. Again, the photographs in here. I mean, look at this one. I just, I literally just flipped to that. Hello, hello. Come on, that's fantastic. So I just wanted to kind of go over again. We're gonna do a series of this. You saw part one, this is part two, and we're gonna keep doing this. But this is where I need your help. I need your help. I'm not the end all be all of James Bond reading. I wanna know what do you love? What are those books out there? I don't care if it's fiction or nonfiction, making up, magazines, giant books, coffee books, whatever it is, let me know down below, you know how to do this. Tell me what you think I should review and I should look at. Or maybe you have one, maybe you've written something that you want me to take a look at. But 
That's what we want to do. We want to insert a couple that are directly from you in part three that will eventually be coming up. This is going to be a regular because number one, I like to promote a little bit of reading every now and then. Yes, I know it's a YouTube channel. What are you doing, David? Uh, but the second thing is I want to hear from you because I think you probably have a better finger on the pulse of uh, what is excellent out there. So that's it for now. I brought you a little bit of reading. Shut this video off. Go grab a book. Go order one. And this has been David Zeritsky for The Bond Experience. We'll see you very soon. Take care. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from The Bond Experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you just because we know you. Talk to you soon.